To the south, past miles and miles of desert, steam rose from the Rio Grande, the battle site where Bast and Sobek had perished. Even as tall as I was, I shouldn't have been able to see all the way to Texas, especially right now, but somehow I could. To the north, even farther away, I saw a distant red glow, and I knew it was the aura of Set. His power was growing as his pyramid neared completion. I looked down. Next to my foot was a tiny cluster of specks, our camp. Miniature Carter, Amos, and Khufu sat around the cooking fire. Amos's boat was no larger than my little toe. My own sleeping form lay curled in a blanket, so small I could have crushed myself with one misstep. I was enormous, and the world was small. That's how God see things, a voice told me. I looked around but saw nothing, just a vast expanse of rolling white dunes. Then in front of me the dunes shifted. I thought it was the wind until an eerie dune rolled sideways like a wave. Another moved, and another, and I realized I was looking at a human form, an enormous man lying in a fetal position. He got up, shaking white sand everywhere. I knelt down and cupped my hands over my companions to keep them from getting buried. Oddly, they didn't seem to notice, as if the disruption were no more than a sparkle of rain. The man rose to full height, at least a head taller than my own giant form. His body was made of sand that curtained off his arms and chest like waterfalls of sugar. The sand shifted across his face until he formed a vague smile. Sadie Kane, he said, I've been waiting for you. Geb? Don't ask me how, but I knew instantly that this was the god of the earth. Maybe the sand body was a giveaway. I have something for you. It didn't make sense that my ba would have the envelope, but I reached into my shimmering ghost pocket and pulled out the note from Nut. Your wife misses you, I said. Geb took the note gingerly. He held it to his face and seemed to sniff it. He opened the envelope. Instead of a letter, fireworks burst out. A new constellation blazed in the night sky above us. The fate of Nut the face of Nut formed by a thousand stars. The wind rose quickly and ripped the image apart, but Geb sighed contentedly. He closed the envelope and tucked it inside his sandy chest, as if there were a pocket right where his heart should be. I owe you thanks, Sadie Kane, Geb said. It has been many millennia since I saw the face of my beloved. Ask me a favor that the earth can grant, and it shall be yours. Save my father, I said immediately. Geb's face rippled with surprise. Hmm. What a loyal daughter. Isis could learn a thing from you. Alas, I cannot. Your father's path is twined with that of Osiris, and matters between the gods cannot be solved by the earth. Then I don't suppose you could collapse Seth's mountain and destroy his pyramid? I asked. Geb's laughter was like the world's largest sand shaker. I cannot intervene so directly between my children. Set is my son, too. I almost stamped my foot in frustration. Then I remembered I was a giant and might smash the whole camp. Could a ba do that? Better not to find out. Well, your favors aren't very useful, then. Geb shrugged, slouching off a few tons of sand from his shoulders. Perhaps some advice to help you achieve what you desire? Go to the place of crosses. And where is that? Close, he promised. And Sadie Kane, you are right. You have lost too much. Your family has suffered. I know what that is like. Just remember, a parent would do anything to save his children. I gave up my happiness, my wife. I took the curse of Ra so that my children could be born. He looked up at the sky wistfully. And while I miss my beloved more each millennia, I know neither of us would change our choice. I have five children whom I love. Even Set, I said incredulously. He's about to destroy millions of people. Set is more than he appears, Geb said. He is our flesh and blood. Not mine. No? Geb shifted, lowering himself. I thought he was crouching until I realized he was melting into the dunes. Think on it, Sadie Kane, and proceed with care. Danger awaits you at the place of crosses, but you will also find what you need the most. Could you be a little more vague? I grumbled. But Geb was gone, leaving only a taller-than-normal dune in the sands, and my ba sank back into my body.